Hi, I'm Douglas from Dynamic Computing, and this is a special edition of 10-Minute Amiga Retrocast. I want to spend just a few minutes going over the setup of the software to play back my videos on your Amiga. The main format I use is MPEG-1. This is a reasonably small format with a reasonably good quality that the Amiga Riva software can play back nicely. First, some hardware recommendations. I would say anything less than a 68,030 running at 50 megahertz will not produce great results with Riva. It certainly will play, but with a lot of frame loss. For slower machines, use the H6V format that I will talk about in a moment. Step one, download both Riva version 0.5 and version 0.53 from AmyNet. The links are right on my website at www.10mark.com. Decompress both of the players to your hard drive. In this case, I'm putting them in a folder on my work drive called Playback. Use your favorite unarchiving utility or just LHA from the CLI. If you don't have LHA, that can also be downloaded from AmyNet. Step three, open up the folder for version 0.5 of Riva and drag and drop the Riva GUI program to your Riva 0.53 folder. If you want, you can now delete the Riva 0.5 folder. Inside the Riva 0.53 folder, launch Riva GUI. Click the bottom file requester and then choose the Riva 0.53 program to launch. Be careful not to choose the one for Vampire unless you own a Vampire. Now, the top setting should say PIP. Use that only if you have an RTG card. If not, choose one of the other display modes. For AGA machines, use HAM8 and HAM6 for ECS machines. Slower machines can use the grayscale modes. Medium quality audio at 22,050 kilohertz works for faster machines. Choose low quality and 11,025 kilohertz for a frame per second speed up. Now, Use the top requester to choose your favorite video created by yours truly and marvel at the incredible resolution our Amigas can deliver. Try not to think about the fact that your phone could be playing this back at 4K resolution. Hi, this is Doug from Dynamic Computing and this is episode one of the 10 minute Amiga retrocast. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, I've owned an Amiga since the 80s. My first one was an Amiga 500 that I got back in 1987. All right, so this is my 4000. This is my main machine. On the front here, we have a DVD drive, DVD-ROM, and a floppy, and then a bunch of USB stuff. Okay, now for slower machines, or just to see what HAM6 and HAM8 video can do, let's download the players. 
again from my website www.tenmark.com download the hamnew.run and hamaga.run files. I was given permission by the author to post these on AmyNet. Now decompress these and move them to your sysc folder. Download one of the H6V or H8V videos from my website. Be aware, they are pretty big. The 2 and 3 minute videos are about 150 megabytes, and my 10 minute videos are a bit over 500 megabytes. Remember, this is more of a cool tech demo than something you will do daily. Next, open a CLI prompt, change directory to the folder you have copied the .hv files to and type hamnew.run then the file name .hv6 for ham6 and hamaga.run then the file name .hv8 for ham8 videos. It'll play back even on a slow 68000 machine as long as you have a fast hard drive. Penny for your thoughts. I hate Brenda, and a bad guy hit me in the shin, and I peed all in my pants. There's <laughs> nothing a little music can't help. Rockin', rockin' and rollin'. Down to the beach I'm strollin'. But the seagulls poke in my head. Not fun. I said seagulls. Mm, stop it now. Remember, a fast hard drive is what is important here. I find that the HAM6 videos play back pretty well on the IDE in our A600, A1200, and A4000 machines, but the HAM8 note modes need a faster interface. Hope this helps get you set up to not only watch some of my content on your Amiga, but also find some other cool content in HV or MPEG-1 format to check out. Please let me know what kind of experience you have in your setups. I can modify the transcoding to make a better experience if I need to. This is Douglas from Dynamic Computing signing off.